Hello, I'm Chris, and I am your Tech Talk Doc. That's right. This is my YouTube channel. Thank you for coming. Return visitors, thank you. New visitors, please subscribe. Please like the videos, and please share. And I hope you enjoy this video. Please come back again. God bless. Hello and welcome. This is Chris from Tech Talk Doc, and welcome. Today we're talking about Chroma King Green Screen in Pinnacle Studios 25. That's right, guys. This is where we're going to talk about a simple green screen chroma keying effect in order to knock out the background and put you in front of a setting. And it's going to be very quick and easy. Please follow along with me. We did on the first step is take video with green screen in the background. I'll show you here. This is the video we took. All right. I'm going to open it up for you just to show you the example of the green screen video in front of the green screen. So here's the video we took and we're going to end up Please subscribe. Um, cropping this out and also removing the background. All right, but nonetheless, Please this is the green screen video. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag it from here, pull it into here into AV Track 2. All right, so now it's in AV Track 2. All right, what I want to do is I want to double click it because I want to go into the properties of it. And this will take me to position, size, rotation, uh, camera, blend mode, and all these other things like cropping. What I'll do first is I'll go to cropping because I want to get this area cropped out because it does not have green. You can see it working there, correct? Very good. So that removes that part. But I also want to make sure that we're maintaining the same size. And what I'll do is I will then make it bigger so that it takes up the full screen. Okay. So the size here, I'm going to go ahead and increase this a little bit so it fills it up. You can see now the black area is removed. So this is rendering right now. Now, what I'm going to do is I want to go into the section where there's audio because we played around with it a little bit, but this is where the audio actually begins right around here. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to select it. I'm going to click this, which is split clips. And once I select the clip I want to delete, it's going to close the gap just like that. So we close the gap and now this is what we're working with here. Okay. I'm going to go back to my bin screen. Um, go back to my bin. All right. Now I want to look at what video I'd like to put behind it. So you can see here we have, this is an, Im an image, but there's also a video. Um, this is picture. And so let's see what we have here. So we have movie here. Let's see what happens when we put this behind it. Okay. So it's rendering. All right. So now this is an example right here of where we have the green screen video on top and the video that we want to work into it on the bottom. What we need to do is we need to use the function here's and studio chroma key. I'm going to drag this onto here and drop it. I can do one of two things. I can double click this or I can right click, go to effects, go to edit, studio chroma key here. It's then going to allow me to edit it. You can see the key color. You can see the select preset. The select preset, you're going to want to select this and go to default because it's green screen. You'll automatically see what will happen once we select that. It's going to get rid of the background as best possible, but it has to also do its work in terms of um, rendering. Okay. And then we can go ahead and play along with our tolerance and transparency, etc. So this is our transparency here. And we want that to be least transparent. So I'm going to pull it to the left. All right. Color saturation, we're at 75. Let's see what happens as we increase this. It brings more of the green out. So we want to go to the right as much as possible, guys. Maximum or the max softness, we're 40. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. We go the opposite direction. So that's the softness. And spill suppressions at 50. Let's look at what looks best. We'll go with 50, all right? We'll just select that and go with 50. So you can see, I'm gonna hit play. First, I'm gonna save it. And let's see what we're doing here, okay? So now, remember we had only the green screen behind here. Now we have this. Hello guys, I am Dr. B, and this is the Tech Talk Doc YouTube channel. Please subscribe, please follow, and I hope you enjoy the videos. Thank you. So there you go. 
this is quite simple it's quite easy now it's how to green screen chroma key and remember that remember just to capture your initial video in front of a green screen and you get anything to the back i hope this helps please subscribe if you haven't um please like the videos and please click on to get all the upcoming videos sent to you directly